Hi, I'm Dr. Pachenik, and today I want to congratulate the State of Israel, and in particular the Attorney General of Israel, Avne Mandelblit, who has indicted the corrupt Bibi Netanyahu. This is an amazing day for all of the, Israel and for all the Jews around the world. For a long time, over 13 years, Bibi has been a thorn on the side of Judaism and Israel. He has, start, he has been a malignant narcissist who has used the state of Israel and Judaism to promote his own agenda. Israel is far greater than any one man. I recall as a child when I grew up, I recall meeting Tzvi Luria and Ami Luria and many of the others who would found the state of Israel and who developed it into a formidable, formidable, formidable high-technology country. Let us remember that Israel is not one man. It is not just a group. It is a high-tech industry which has no peer in the world. It has now been number one in cybersecurity. The companies like CyberArk, Palo Alto Networks, they're all founded by Israelis. The water purification systems all over the world, the irrigation systems, fertilization of the desert, the ability to develop high tech, all of that has been what we call Israeli. The issue of corruption and the issue of self-aggrandizement and malignant narcissism has not only occurred with Bibi Netanyahu, but we had it with Ehud Olmer, a former prime minister. But thanks to the Israeli policemen, the judiciary, Zahal, Shin Bet, Mossad, they all work together to get rid of this kind of corruption. From now on, Israel must regard itself not as a dependent of America. It must regard itself as a viable country in the Middle East. It must make overtures of friendship to Syria, to Lebanon, and Iran. I will guarantee you that America will no longer be the presence in the Middle East. We can't be, we don't know how to deal with it. it we are, find Israel and the Middle East to be a strategic liability for our interest. In turn, Israel will have a close relationship with Russia. For Putin has been a very close friend to the Jews and to Israel for many, many decades. He will guarantee the safety and the peace within that area. At the same time, Turkey will have to be the predominant Sunni power, not Saudi Arabia. It is dangerous for Israel to arm and to develop nuclear weapons for Mohammed bin Salman. He is a dangerous man. He is like Bibi, self-aggrandizing, very destructive, and the state of Saudi Arabia can do much better without him and allow themselves to grow into a mature entity other than a Pakistani feudal state. Also, Israel has to recognize and accept the fact that King Hussein of Jordan has been a formidable ally to Israel and to the United States. We don't appreciate how quietly he has worked to maintain peace in the Middle East, as has many other countries, UAE, Doha, and Dubai. And now we understand that Israel has grown up with the eventual exit of Bibi, it has to occur. Israel will now be able to say, we are here in the Middle East, and hopefully one day we will have what we should have had all along, a leader of Sephardic origins. It's not an accident that initially all of the leaders of Israel came from Polish or Belarus or Russian backgrounds, because that was where Zionism was born. But the true Jews of the Middle East are the Sephardim. They come from Algeria, Morocco, Afghanistan, and of course the one country, Yemeni, which means of Jewish origin. Ironically, for those of you who have a perverted sense of humor, Osama bin Laden's mother was a Yemeni. So in effect, Osama bin Laden was Jewish. But beyond that point, we have to understand one thing. In the Torah, it says that a man grows up when he's 13 years old. But in my world, there is a concept called Bar Onish, which is a little line before the Bar Mitzvah, which says a man is a man when he's criminally culpable. Now we have gone beyond the point of Bar Onish, and we have become a state. Congratulations, Israel. Mazel Tov. And I wish you the best of luck. Dr. Bechenik.